Welcome to Stupid Movies. Where we watch them so you don't have to. Today we watched Blood Vessel Vampire Movie. This is a Shudder exclusive, I believe. I believe you're right. Yeah, which sign up for Shudder, they're awesome. 2019 TVMA. Ma. Ma. 93 minutes long. Directed by Justin Dix. And starred Nathan Phillips, Alyssa Sutherland, and Robert Taylor. And this was uh, a vampire movie on a boat. They're going to need a bigger tooth. I was trying to make sure you know. I don't. Okay. That was pretty that was, bad. That was pretty I bad. liked so, it. Thank you. <laughs> so we get stranded on, on a little raft boat. We find a huge boat and there's stuff going on, weird things on the boat. And there's a little girl. And we don't know what's happening and then we all start dying. What was this movie about, Adam? Vampires on a boat. Vampires on a boat. Okay, well, heck. Adam likes vampires. I do occasionally. So what do we like about this vampire movie? I like vampires. <laughs> <laughs> the vampires were cool. I like the vampires. They were badass fucking yeah. vampires. They the, weren't little pussy sparkly vampires. They're not human looking. Uh, they're not just people with sharp teeth. They're actually like creatures yeah. that like come back from the dead kind of thing. And they're... The, the, kind of had know. a 30 days a night look to it with yeah. the vampire design. They, they weren't human. Yeah, the vampires were cool in this. And they felt threatening. And they were creepy. You know, and uh, you could be scared of them. Yeah. It, this kind of had a um, uh, Tales from the Crypt look for the vampires, yeah. too. They were, you know, human, but not quite. Yeah, exactly. I, they looked really cool. I liked it. I really love the setting of on the ship. It is very... Uh, claustrophobic. Claustrophobic. Because you are on a boat. It was just a creepy setting, I thought. And, and they utilized it really well. It was dark. It was dreary. I liked that. That's how I liked my atmosphere. And the score paired up nice with it. The score was really good. The score was good. The special effects, from what I remember, were yeah. pretty good. Makeup effects, it, it looked really good. Yep. You know, just the look of the vampires. There the, was some CG. There was some CG. That, but it was obviously CG. But it worked. But it, it wasn't like, fine. yeah, it wasn't atrocious CG. No. And, and it was stuff that you couldn't do practically. And that's what CG should be for. Blood and gore was good. And it was, uh, there was very good bloody. practical. Yeah, it was very bloody. And I like that. Fountains. Fountains of blood. <sighs> Not fountains of Wayne. Fountains of blood. Red Dragon Tattoo. Is that Fountains of Wayne? That is. I've never listened to him. So oh, you should. I probably should. Yeah. Eh, no. It built suspense, because you, oh. you don't really know what the hell's happening for a while. Yeah. And they build it up really nice, you know, with the, the little girl, and, you know, what, what are they going to find? And there's some things that happened that I, that caught me off guard. So that was nice. You know, I like it when, when a movie can do that. I thought the pacing was good. Pacing was fine. Pacing was fine. Well. It, you know, it's a little bit slower, but you know, the atmosphere and the and the the buildup of the tension stuff really yeah. helps move it along. It was shot really well too. It looked mm -hmm. pretty, and being on that that abandoned cruise uh, abandoned ship, it was really cool looking. And I think that added a lot to the tension because, yeah. like, when they mm -hmm. get below deck and they're in some really cramped fucking quarters, it felt cramped and dangerous and like oh yeah. shit which is fun and, and, and it kind of gets you invested in what's going on i thought the twists that they had to that formula were enough to keep it interesting and then the big giant monster sort of thing at the end i thought was really cool too. it was neat yeah, yeah. It, it was a solid creature feature acting was fine and all that was pretty good <laughs> that so you don't like vampires but you, what else don't you like there were no boobs there could have been more blood and gore could have amped that up a little bit more and i think it would have been a little more fun i mean you know there's a sufficient enough amount vampire movies need a lot of blood we could have saw more of the vampire yeah you a know, little bit more wouldn't hurt may, may, maybe not more but maybe sooner sooner sure parts of this movie were in german and there were no subtitles. I get that they were building, like, confusion and suspense and everything because the characters didn't speak German either. So, okay, that's fine. Right. Whatever. But no. I, I would have liked some subtitles or something. Or be not in German. We can pretend. We're watching a movie. We know right. it's not real. Yeah. I can pretend that the German Nazis speak perfect English. True. There were some parts that I didn't quite understand what was happening. And I felt like I was missing part of the story. You don't really know what they're saying. It's just like, blah, 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 blah. I'm a stupid American. I only speak one language. Let's wrap it up. I'm not a vampire person. So, uh, we know this. This has been established on Stupid Movies several times. This is point. canon at this point. Everyone knows werewolf, vampire. Yeah. No werewolf, 
no vampires. <laughs> right. But uh, I like this one. I thought this was kind of unique and different. Kind of a, a fun little spin on the uh, vampire tail. I like the look of them. I, I love that they weren't just human looking dudes with sharp teeth. They're actually creatures that felt threatening and, uh, you know, scary almost maybe to a point. It was a lot more fun than I thought it was going to be. I really like the setting, the location. It was shot well. Uh, pacing was fine enough. You know, it could have been a little bit quicker. Yeah. You know, but there's some good uh, effects, good gore. You know, I like the ending. It's kind of an open ending. So I love Shudder. Sign up for Shudder. So I'm going to give this one a 6 out of 8. Yeah, I liked it too. I had fun with it. It needed to be a little bit faster paced. It needed some boobs. It needed to play around with the vampires a little bit more. But, you know, it was fine for what it was. I had fun with it. I liked it. Yeah. I, 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 I'll probably watch it again. I'm going to give it a 6 out of 8 too. I liked hey, it. I, I, right. I will go back and rewatch it. I had fun. Yeah, with it. It, it's worth checking oh. out. And, and I think it warrants a second viewing if you dig that kind of stuff. Yeah. If you have seen Blood Vessel, <laughs> or if you have subscribed to Shudder, let us know what you think of the movie and Shudder down below in the comments. Give us that thumbs up, baby. Like, subscribe, tell your friends. If you haven't, just do it. Adam, subscribe. See, I just told my friend, it's easy as that. Rob, I am subscribed to this awesome YouTube channel. You ought to check it out. It's called stupid movies. Hey, see how easy that is? We just acted it out and we're not actors, so you can do it too. <laughs> we are not actors. No. You can also head over to <laughs> facebook.com slash stupid movies, stupid movies on the Instagram at stupid movies, at Dr. Schuster, at the horror punk. Talk to us. We like to talk. We don't like people in general, but we like to talk mm -hmm. uh, sometimes. So just do it. Email us mm -hmm. at, oh shit, at <laughs> stupidmovies at outlook.com. It's going to send something with a penis and a vessel, like a vein vessel and a penis, right? Oh. We're just going to go play in simple send rub pictures of penises. Hard, soft, big, small. They all have blood black, vessels. white, doesn't matter. Bye, friends. See you next time. You have like an Iggy thing going it, no, on. No, it's not Iggy. Here. It's yeah. the Misfits. It's a devil lock. No, it looks like Iggy. <laughs> <laughs>